Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to generate API documentation for the API services running in Backendless. There is a variety of different use cases associated with API documentation. So for instance, if you use the Open API or Swagger format, then you can generate client-side code that would have all the logic for invoking your API services. Additionally, if you use a uh, at some kind of API management platform, then you would be importing your API services into that platform, more than likely using some format of the API documentation. So let me just jump right into it and show you how it works in Backendless. For this, I will switch to the business logic. Right now, I don't have any API services. I will create one using Codeless because it's very straightforward, uh, just a couple of clicks. So there is a sample shopping cart service. And that service uh, is just a demonstration of how you could implement server-side shopping cart. So you'll see the various methods such as uh, uh, adding an item here uh, or uh, deleting an item, getting a list of the items. There is a method called get instructions. And if you invoke it, uh, it actually tells you what methods to use and how to uh, work with that shopping cart, but this is beyond the point. So let's say this is your service and you have your methods and all the logic that you're familiar with, and all you need to do is to generate the API documentation. So for the service that you're working with, and it's always going to be expanded, you will see a list of other methods for that service, you will notice that li this little icon, then if you move the mouse over, it will say generate API docs, just like it uh, does right now on the screen. So if you click that icon, there is a pop-up, and in here you can select a variety of different formats that Backendless will generate API documentation for your service uh, really on the fly uh, as soon as you select a particular item. So I selected uh, Open API Swagger 2.0, uh, click Generate, and then now API is, doc uh, is generated. Uh, you can click Download to get the file, or here I'm, I'm just going to use Copy, and this URL is copied into the clipboard. I will open a separate browser tab, and then here I will go to editor.swagger.io. And in here, uh, this is the default API documentation, which is the Swagger Path Store. But in the file menu, there is import URL. And I will just paste the URL that I copied in Backhandless Console. So now the, this is the API documentation and uh, a visual representation of all the methods that exist in, uh, in this API service. Uh, let's find the get instructions. So this is the get instruction method. Uh, click try it out and then execute. So now Swagger makes an invocation into Backendless and this is the response that we get from the API service. So you can see that you can actually do the invocations from, from the Swagger editor as well. The cool thing is under generate client. So these are all the languages that it supports. So let's say if you want to generate it for JavaScript, click JavaScript and you get the zip file that contains all the logic uh, uh, in JavaScript to do the invocations of that uh, API service running in Backhandless. So this is just a demonstration of how you can use uh, API documentation with various other tools, and in this case I use Swagger. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, there is a variety of different things that you can use this for, and if you're looking for uh, API documentation generator, you know how to find it in Backhandless. Thank you, and as always, happy coding.